thinking of, right, we're coming around to the back of the buildings now, to the car park, and you know, I'm thinking there might be one or two things here that could change. Mm. Yeah, definitely. This comes under uh, the lifestyle section of the Eco Church survey, um, which is a bit of a tricky one in some ways, because a lot of it applies to what we as individuals and as households and as families do. Okay. So that's about us working that out for ourselves. Right. As a church, you can encourage, you can kind of drop in nuggets of information which right. make us kind of think more about what we're doing, but that's yeah. something people have to take their own responsibility okay. for. As a church, though, you could, for example, put in some bike racks. Right. That, you know, that's the kind of thing that helps change people's habits. Yeah. You've got yeah. a bike, you could cycle to church, you know there's somewhere safe right. to leave it. But also car sharing, um, just the kind of encouragement to walk to church rather than come in the car, which lots of us could do and don't because we're running a bit late, but we could yep. be more organised. Yep. That kind of thing. And also, as a church, you could you could do a kind of communal Christmas card, right. an Easter card, to okay. reduce the amount of cards yep. that end up in the recycling or in yep. the bin, yep. where you could get the uh, young people of the church to make some wonderful piece of artwork yep. Yep. with plenty of room for scribbling on it. Yep. People give a little bit of money yep. to the charity yep. that you've chosen, yep. the Global Initiative, yep. and, and just write their message to the whole congregation right. on that. Right. But personally, it's about an encouragement to try and live more sustainably in our families and in our households. Um, there are lots of ways online that you could do a kind of carbon audit, right. an energy audit, see what you're right. doing in your own houses. Um, think about where you're investing your money. Think about yeah. where we're investing, where's our pension? Yeah. All of these kind of things all contribute to this. And when you're an eco-church, uh, you have a means of encouraging that. Right. Maybe also through, through services that you do, through yeah. the things you talk about, through newsletters. Okay. through online stuff. Just okay. just little kind of hints and tips to just right. encourage us all right. personally to live more sustainably. Right. Okay, it's great. And, and again, they're sort of like step-by-step -step things that totally. we can sort of work your way at. Totally. One thing at a time. Yeah. And the other thing about yeah. Eco Church is that one thing leads to another thing, okay. which leads to another thing. It's a kind of domino effect. Okay. So just start. Just don't do nothing. Right. Start. Okay. And then that will lead to something else. Okay. And I'm guessing, from what I'm hearing, if we started... There are probably a lot of these things we're doing already. Oh, gosh, yes. Mm. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you'll be amazed at just how eco you are as a church okay. before you've even begun. And, yeah. and you know what? We all need a bit of encouragement. Yeah. So doing this survey yeah. and realising how much yeah. you do yeah. is hugely encouraging okay. and starts that domino effect. Okay. That's, that's really good to hear.